this video is to cover your project about the French. Um, specifically, this project asks you to outline the government of France um, from the time of monarchy uh, to their multiple revolutions, republics, empires, and so on. Um, so your final product will look something like this. You'll need to create a chart uh, that starts with the monarchy um, starting in you know, pre-1700. Uh, these were the Bourbons the Bourbon monarchy, um, and ending with a republic uh, which has maintained, uh, for the most part, I mean, during World War II we had the Vichy French, but we're not going to get into that. For our purposes, we're going to stop at 1871 republic. Um, again, current is a loose term, but we're not going to get into that. So you will have a chart that looks something like this. Uh, these are pretty simple to create. You can use Excel uh, or a spreadsheet option. Um, otherwise, you can open up a document and insert a spreadsheet. It's super simple. If you need additional help with doing that, I can uh, give you some additional instructions uh, if you just let me know. Um, so we're going to have uh, the government type, the year, and then the explanation over here of what that government is. Um, so again, this is what your uh, spreadsheet should include type of government, the years it was active, and you'll need to explain who ran the government, how citizens participated, and um, why that form of government ended, what happened to it. Um, so a pretty loose example of this uh, is that in my first box that I would make, uh, the monarchy lasted until 1789. Uh, it was run by the House of Bourbon since the late 1500s. The monarchy was run solely by the king. There did exist a parliament, but they were largely used as an opinion-forming body and did not pass laws. In this, I would also need to include why the downfall. Uh, that has a lot to do with Louis XVI uh, and Marie Antoinette, uh, serious amounts of debt, extravagance by the monarchy, and dissatisfaction and starvation, and taxes from the lower class, which made up, I believe, 80 to 90 percent of the population. Um, something like 10 to 15 percent of the population um, didn't pay taxes, and those were the wealthiest of the people. So, anyways, uh, but I would need to include what happened to the monarchy, why was it destroyed? Um, and that's the same that I will do for every single government type. So, I'll go in and explain who ruled. In this case, we had the Bourbons, which were the kings, monarchy, um, you know, the type of government, uh, who got to participate. In this case, we just have the king in a parliament, but not. Parliament in the sense that we would usually think of, and then again why it was destroyed. So my final product should look something like this. These are all the government types that you will need to cover. If you're watching this video, that means you're getting extra help that your peers did not. Congratulations! Um, so you'll start with the monarchy, uh, the convention, which is also called the First French Republic, the Directory, the Consulate, the First Empire, the Restoration of the Monarchy, the Second French Republic, the Second Empire, and the Third Republic. Um, when you are writing about the restoration of the monarchy, there there is some dispute about the restoration of the monarchy because the Bourbons were restored to the throne and uh, France went back to a monarchy. Uh, but later the Bourbons were overthrown and supplanted with uh, the family or the House of Orleans. Um, and it looks like Orleans, so don't be confused. <laughs> um, so there is some dispute about the restoration of the monarchy and whether or not that should be split into two separate things, restoration of the Bourbons and then the um, ascension of Orléans, but for our purposes, we're just going to talk about the restoration of the monarchy. Um, we're less interested in the overthrow of Bourbon for Orléans, um, but we do need to talk about the restoration of the monarchy and then why the monarchy was once again tossed down the toilet. Um, so again, this is what you're looking at, uh, these major government types, and it's important to keep in mind that from 1780, until I believe the last one was 1880, 1871, I believe. Uh, so over the course of less than a hundred years, uh, France experienced this many types of governments. I mean, what is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. If you're splitting up the restoration of the monarchy, uh, so that means almost every decade there was a change of government and revolution. Um, that's a pretty damaging thing that can happen to a nation, and so it does tell us quite a bit about the French and about their view of government. So there you go. That's how you're going to do your project, the French. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Otherwise, I'll be seeing you in class.